all right this question is about outcomes let's look at option a a says they are deliverables that are provided to end users deliverables are specific items produced as a part of the project but are not the final desired outcomes themselves incorrect choice let's move to option b b says they enable end users to achieve the intended outcomes outcomes enable service consumers to achieve the intended result focusing on the ultimate benefit of a project let's park this we'll move to option c c says they offer products to service providers as a result of outputs this option is focused on the transfer of products to service providers rather than outcomes what we want so this is out let's move to d d says they create value for service providers by minimizing expenses and mitigating risk while co-creating value is important reducing cost and risk is a benefit but it doesn't solely define outcomes we'll reject this and we'll lock option b as the right choice let's bring the heat to the snow so we got to streamline the process of service request let's look at option a a says identify which service request can be handled with minimal approval process identifying which uh, service request can be handled with minimal approval process helps streamline the fulfillment or uh, fulfillment process by reducing delays looks good we'll park this let's move to b b says developing new workflows for each individual service request creating new workflows for every service request can be inefficient and time consuming that being said this treatment is incorrect let's move to option c c says distinguishing between requests related to service outages and those related to service degradation while separating a request related to service failures from service degradation is important but it doesn't streamline the fulfillment process we'll reject this let's move to option d d says removing service requests that involve complex workflows eliminating service request with complex workflows may not be feasible or practical and doesn't add is the efficiency of the overall fulfillment process let's remove it we'll lock option e as the right choice all right this question is about which practice offers a structured approach for users to manage explain and coordinate various request let's look at option e a says service level management service level management focuses on maintaining and improving the quality of service but it doesn't handle the organization of user request let's remove it let's move to option b b says relationship management relationship management is about maintaining positive relationships with stakeholders not handling user request let's remove it we'll move to option c c says continual improvement continual improvement aims at enhancing processes and services but it doesn't provide a structured way to manage user requests that being said this statement is incorrect let's move to option d this is service desk a service desk provides centralized point of contact for users to get their request organized explained and coordinated that being said option d is the right choice we'll lock it we got a brainstorming question and here we got to choose a practice which aims to maximize success by ensuring proper risk assessment let's look at option e is his relationship management relationship management focuses on maintaining positive relationships with stakeholders but does not address risk assessment incorrect choice let's move to option b b says change enablement change enablement ensures that all risk are properly assessed before changes are implemented will park this let's move to c c says release management release management handles the process of deploying releases but doesn't focus on assessing uh, risk therefore let's remove it we'll move to option d this is monitoring and event management monitoring and event management involve tracking and responding to events but doesn't address risk assessment for changes 
will reject it and lock option b change enablement as the right choice let's bring the heat to the snow so which practice utilizes methodologies like lean agile and devops to enable more rapid and increase changes let's look at option a ac service desk service desk focuses on managing user requests and incidents so this is not related to it we'll move, remove it let's move to b b says monitoring and event management monitoring and event management track and manage events so this is again wrong let's move to c c says service level management service level management ensures that agreed upon service request uh, agreed upon service quality levels are met this is again wrong because that's not we are looking let's move to d d says continual improvement continual improvement involves the use of approaches like lean agile and devops to facilitate faster and greater changes aiming to enhance efficiency and effectiveness that being said d continual improvement is the right choice all right now we got a question here we got to choose a practice which stabilizes communication channel between the service provider and its user we we'll look at option e is is relationship management relationship management focuses on maintaining good relationships with stakeholders this is out let's move to option b b says change enablement change enablement is about managing changes in the project that being said this is incorrect let's move to c c says supplier management supplier management deals with managing relationships with suppliers and vendors not with users this is wrong let's move to option d d says service desk service desk acts as a primary point of contact between the service provider and its users facilitating communication and support that being said option d service desk is the right choice all right all right this is about the fundamental requirement for all service desk staff let's look at what is the fundamental let's look at option a ac is uh, excellent technical knowledge while technical knowledge is important it is not the primary or the fundamental requirement for all service desk staff right in correct choice let's move to b b says root cause analysis skills root cause analysis skills are valuable but not required for service desk staff right because service desk uh, uh, are kind of like maybe non technical person as well um, they are meant to communicate basically let's move it we'll move to c c says a demonstration of emotional in intelligence emotional intelligence is crucial for service desk staff as it enables them to interact effectively with the users right because the service desk people are like um the customer support telephonic call uh, what we do um, normally with the uh, uh, let's say network providers as well if something uh, our phone is not working Uh, network is down we uh, like reach out to them and seek their support and uh, they they are basically emotional uh, 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 like support provides us emotional su support uh, you might have seen and say sorry sir we are uh, uh, um uh, like we regret for the inconvenience caused or madam we are sorry to say that uh, this service is not available you can choose different option so the, th those kind of emotional things right This looks good. We'll move to C. Uh, we'll move to D. D says knowledge of telephony uh, technology. Knowledge of telephony technology is specific and not universally required for all service desk roles. So this is out. We'll lock option C as the right choice. All right now. So how is service defined with respect to project management? Let's look at option E. E says an event that could potentially cause harm. loss or hinder the achievement of objectives this option describes risk not service we'll remove it we'll move to option b b c is a method of enabling value co creation by achieving desired outcomes for customers without requiring them to manage specific cost and risk a service is defined as a means of enabling value co creation by achieving outcomes desired by customers without them having to manage cost and risk 
this looks good we'll move to c c says deliverable either tangible or intangible resulting from an activity this option describes a deliverable if you look but a service uh, uh, encompasses uh, or focuses more than just deliverables so this is wrong let's move to d this is collaborative activities between a service provider and a service consumer to ensure continuous value co-creation based on agreed service offerings this option focuses on the collaboration aspect rather than the definition of a service itself we'll reject it and lock option b is the right choice okay so now we got to choose a practice which involves conducting regular evolutions to ensure that service remains suitable and relevant we'll look at option a which is service level management service level management ensures that services are regularly reviewed to confirm their appropriateness and relevance we'll park this let's move to b b says service desk service desk focuses on managing user request and incidents not conduct regular service um reviews and all these things right so this is wrong let's move to c c says continual improvement continual improvement aims to enhance processes and services but it doesn't focus on regular service reviews we'll reject it let's move to d d says change enablement change enablement manages changes within the project but doesn't conduct regular reviews of services we'll remove it and lock option a service level management as a right choice all righty so this question is about watermelon sla a uh, watermelon sla effect to be more precise looks good let's tackle this we'll move to option a a says the service value chain transforms value into demand the service value chain does not convert value into demand rather it works to provide value through services this is incorrect let's move to option b b says each value chain activity utilizes distinct combinations of practices to convert inputs into outputs each value chain activity uses a unique set of practices to transform inputs into valuable outputs we'll park this let's move to c c says each value chain activity recognizes the need for resources from external suppliers not every value chain activity identifies external supplier resource requirements this is context dependent so let's remove it we'll move to option d d says the service value chain employs value streams to depict the interplay between consumers and providers while value streams describe interaction they do not define the service value chain function we'll reject it and we will lock option b as a right choice so please 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 don't go away let's meet in next part of this series